You know what I hate? This question. Hey Sam, what do you want for your birthday? Because it's framed like a, if you could have anything, what would you choose question. Which in and of itself would take me weeks, if not months, of list making and, and prioritising and reordering to decide. But it's not that type of question at all. It's really... Hey Sam, try and guess my price range for your birthday present, and then choose your favourite item from the remaining suitable options. I just can't handle that kind of pressure. But you know what else I hate? Things ending. I'm a wreck. I can't handle it. When I finish a show I'm in. When I finished school. <laughs> when Harry Potter ended. <laughs> no. <laughs> and now tonight, Pack to the Rafters is gonna finish. but I just get way too attached and emotionally invested in things. Hey Sam, this Visca looks like it has a face. <sighs> I'll call him Benjamin. Benjamin Biscuit. Oh, hey Benjamin. No! You have no soul. I even agree that Rafters needs to end before every single original character leaves. But even still, it's the end of an era and... Or era. Do you say era or era? Interesting. See, even now I'm distracting myself from the fact that it's actually ending. But on a completely different note... Cloud Atlas. I... Watch this movie. Last week I was talking about The Great Gatsby, and there were varied comments about whether you should read the book before seeing the movie. Now, I read Cloud Atlas before I saw the movie, and I think it benefited me greatly. I was a lot less confused, for starters. But I also got to watch it with all this understanding and knowledge of the stuff they had to leave out of the movie, and so I knew so much more about each of the characters, and had a lot greater depth to my viewing than you would if you hadn't read the book. So I think I've come to some sort of conclusion on the matter that it's neither way is better, but if you're going to read the book first it can be a huge benefit to you, but you have to be willing to accept that the movie is going to be different because you simply can't fit everything that's in a book into a movie. Or you could go the opposite way and watch the movie first and then read the book as some sort of awesome extended edition of the story. But this week let me know in the comments below how you guys deal with things ending. Or do you just not have a problem with it at all? Also, how do you guys deal with the what do you want for your birthday question? Tips and advice greatly appreciated. Leave your comments below and I will see you guys next week.